this started out um, when I went out to uh, dinner while we were doing the album with some people who work for Dasso, who make uh, the business jets and also make some quite hairy military aircraft as well. And um, we went out for, uh, for dinner and we were over a bottle of wine and the guy goes, oh, he said, I've got this, <clears throat> this guy that uh, has got a, a Prezi for you. I went, oh, what is it? So this guy turns up, uh, Fabrice, from, as it turns out, from Matt Watchers. And the guy, I said, hey, he said, I make watches. He said, so, he said, you want to come around the shop? And it says, it's, it's not really a shop. It's just like a, a, a little back room thing, you know, and, uh, and, he, and he'd made a little, he'd made a, a little watch that actually had a, <clears throat> a little eddy in it and stuff and bits and bobs. I went, oh, that's really cool. He said, yeah, he said, but <clears throat> you can, you know, go pick a watch. So yeah, I said, this is a watch. And he says, no, 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 pick a watch from the catalogue. I went, woo, okay. So anyway, I'm looking at the catalogue and I'm like, you do watches for the test pilots? He went, yeah. I said, and for the French Foreign Legion? He went, yeah. And I went, why haven't I heard of you? And he said, ah, oh, he says, I like to keep it as a, like, a really small, bespoke company, you know, and he said, I haven't got the budget to go and hire John Travolta or Breitling or any of that stuff. And he said, pick any watch you want. And I, I picked a watch and I went, that one, he went, yeah, he said, that's a test pilot's watch. I went, oh, funny that, you know. So anyway, so I've, I've been wearing one of them, one of these watches for two or three years now. And funnily enough, there was a thread started on the Maiden website about what sort of watch I was wearing because people went, oh, it's not a Breitling. Oh, it must be this. So it must, and somebody got the right watch. And there's an eight page thread on the Maiden website. And Ed, who works for us, obviously doing the beer and everything, brought it to my attention and said, you know, there's, people think your watch is really cool, you know, or some people do who are into watches. And I said, well, it's kind of a great story because he does little bits. He's done it for the Royal Navy. He's done it for all kinds of things, you know. And I said, uh, don't fancy do it. You wouldn't do, want to do one for like a captain's watch for like Ed Force One. And he went, oh, I said, that'd be a great idea. Then he said, well, look, let me send you some designs. So we, we exchanged things and, and all this was just going on between me and him. I said, I, I, you know, I don't really want it to scream, Maiden, you know, I didn't want that. I wanted a watch that was functional, cool, discreet, you know. So people go, what's that watch you're wearing? If they're into watches. I am making 666 of them. Um, and when I did my flight simulator experiences, we, we had a kind of cool logo that said sort of like Bruce Ayres with a pair of wings and a, like a, almost like a semi eddy face with a, and goggles. So we've used that as the logo. And what I might do actually, I'm, I'm quite interested in doing some designing some cool things but not like millions of black t-shirt type things things that are yeah they're probably reasonably expensive i suppose but also really special so i'm not interested in doing like thousands and thousands of things just things that are really cool um so there's 666 of these this is actually one of 10 special ones i had made as prototypes and these are actually numbered in Roman numerals on the back. Uh, but there won't be any more. There'll be 10 of these and 666 of the other ones. And before you ask, no, you can't have number 666. I'm not even having number 666. I am eventually, when we get done with it all, gonna put it up for auction and try and raise a load of money because I'm gonna do uh, try and raise some money for some charities, uh, for cancer charities and things like that with it. Um, so that's the deal. It is a pilot's watch. If you, if you drop it in deep water, you can fish it out up to 200 meters if you can find it <laughs> and it'll still work. Um, it's got um, 
scratch proof dial you can jam pens all over it it won't scratch um, and you know it's a good it's a really good solid watch um, comes with three straps the presentation box which at the moment is downstairs and very discreetly down here it just has Ed Force One and on the back uh, this is covered up with protective tape right now but that's what it that's what's on the back Book of Souls to Ed Force One watch and then the the number of the watch is down down the bottom there um, but uh, you know I'd say you know go on the website MAT Matt watches uh, French for Sea, air, land, mer, air, et terre. Um, and check out the website and see the sort of things they do. All their watches are, I think about the cheapest watch is probably about 1,200 euros. The most expensive is about 2,300, 400 euros, something like that. Um, and this one is, believe it or not, 666 pounds, which translate that into euros. Uh, happens to be around about a thousand euros so it's it's a it's a very high quality watch for you know a sensible amount of money if you're gonna buy one of these kinds of watches I wore it today uh, on my right hand so they could take lots of pictures on me doing it like this but normally I wear the watch on my left hand which of course you wouldn't be able to see if I was you know flying it so uh, that makes me a bit more comfy. Um, and it's quite nice, because if you're flying your jet fighter, if you've got one at home, um, when you've got your hands on the stick, it means that you don't have to take it off, you see, because the buttons are on the other side to a, a normal watch. So it doesn't stick in your hand when you're doing that. Little things that make the difference. I was conscious that um, we've done Ed Force One four times now. Yeah, three times on a 757 and once on this. This is stupendous. I mean, it's, it's, it's the ultimate. I mean, and I'm not sure how we could top this. There's not much merchandising, if any, really from any of the other stuff. There's not many articles of memorabilia or, or, you know, from the other times we did it. There's a few posters. There's some great tour jackets we've got now for the crew and, you know, um, and it, for me, it seems a little bit of a shame. I'm like a bit gutted really, you know, because uh, so um, I thought this little brand I've got of like piloty inspired clothing with a little bit of a rock and roll twist, Bruce Ayres, we could do we could do something, you know. And yeah, you know, there's a watch. I might try and figure out maybe a bag or something, or a, you know, a, a bag that could that that looks that would be a cool flight bag, but also a practical bag again that doesn't scream, you know, plonker, you know, pilot wannabe. Um, as you as you carry it around, something that's got a bit of discretion about it, you know, uh, unlike our aeroplane, which is totally indiscreet, you know. But uh, th this uh, th that that's the idea, really. Um, so um, I thought it would be nice to to do that and have something that that, that could be a really cool uh, reminder of it. If nothing else, you know, I mean, I, I can I can wander around with them, you know. I'm scratching my noddle with a few other interesting things that we could do. Most of them, to be fair, are, I suppose, aviation related, but I want to try and just span the, the, the bridge between, you know, aviation stuff that looks like people are up in like fancy dress as a pilot and aviation inspired things that look really cool and then you find out the story of how it developed and you go oh that's a really great story oh, what a cool watch you know but it doesn't scream uh pilot watch you know and the same thing with i've got an idea for a, a really nice jacket which we'll get to later but it's steeped in history um and could be could be really really cool it's something i'm thinking about for 
you know, next year perhaps there's something special going on next year. It's uh, a hundredth a hundredth anniversary of, of 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 something else that has the number 100 in it. Well, I'll tell you about it later. Time to call this then, eh?